Dear friends, in this video, I am going to explain an error which is related to React Native. First, let me run my project. NPM start. Enter. My project is running now. Let us wait. Yes. Now, let us go to Android Studio. I have already opened my Android folder in, in this Android Studio. This folder, Android folder in this Android Studio. Now, uh, I have already opened emulator also. So, uh, our uh, React Native project is running now. Now, let me run the application on Android Studio. Let us go to emulator. Yes, bundling is happening. Look at here. Got the error. Let us read the error. Scroll up. View prop types will be removed from React Native along with all other prop types. We recommend that you are uh, you migrate away from prop types and switch to a type system like TypeScript. If you need to continue using view prop types, migrate to the deprecated React Native prop types package. So they are suggesting two options. The reason is view prop types is removed from React Native, but some of the package which I am using in my React Native project using view prop types, but currently view prop types is not available in React Native. So they are suggesting two options. First one is you have to move to TypeScript, but unfortunately I am using JavaScript in this React Native project. It, I cannot go with the TypeScript uh, because TypeScript is type system. Uh, so uh, it is available in TypeScript. Second option is deprecated React Native prop types package. We have to use deprecated React Native prop types package because that package have these prop types which is removed from React Native ecosystem currently. It was there before. So uh, we can stick with this uh, re deprecated React Native prop types package. First, we have to find what is the reason in my project uh, for these new prop types. Let's go down. I look at here. I have used only one uh, uh, package here in this app.js or packages are from uh, other packages are from uh, our React and React Native. So uh, I think the problem is with this uh, uh, React Native smooth pin code input. Uh, let us go down. Mm, I have used that one here. Look at here. Smooth pin code input. So uh, let me go to this React Native Smooth Pin Code Input. Go to definition. Here under node underscore modules React Native Smooth Pin Code Input SRC index node JS. Here look at here view prop type C here. So when this um, package owner React Native Smooth Pin Code Input package owner uh, created this source code at that time, this view prop types was available in React Native. Currently it is not available. So that's why when we use uh, this package this uh, uh, react native smooth pin code input package in latest version of react native we got this uh, error view prop types uh, is removed from react native so as they suggested let me remove it from here and uh, let me save it and uh, what i want i am going to do is let me copy this one and uh, copy this first line let me copy this first line control c and let me paste it here look at here Invoke new prop types from deprecated React Native prop types. So I have already installed. It is available currently in my project. Otherwise, you have to install this one first. Then uh, I am using this deprecated React Native prop types package to use this new prop types because this new prop types before it was invoked from React Native. But uh, as I am using latest version of React Native, it is not available currently. So I am using another package, deprecated React Native prop types to get the uh, definition of new prop types. Right now, if you run the file, if you, uh, uh, exit and uh, clear and uh, let me run the file. Let me go to look at here. Let us run it again. Let's run it again. Whether we will get the error or not. It's loading, bundling. Let us wait. Look at here, we don't have any error related to view prop types. But here one problem is there. Uh, this is the, the file under node underscore modules directory. So when we delete this node underscore modules, 
or when we push it to the GitHub, uh, um, our partner uh, run that project again, and uh, in his system he will install npm packages again using npm install command. At that time, uh, the current uh, current uh, when we import this React Native smooth import input, he will import or he will download the uh, the, the, the that error uh, package, which is in that package or, or it should be view pride, view properties will be in this in this position. This will not be available in his directory. So uh, uh, we will use patch package uh, uh, package patch package. Uh, I will tell you how to do it. Control C. Let me clear it. Let us go to Notepad and firstly we have to install this package. npm install patch hyphen package. Because this package will help us to fix that error. Because when we uh, delete this more underscore modules, install all the packages again. In that at that time, this new prop text will be imported from React Native for this React Native smooth import input library. Because this is added by us. Otherwise, we have to do it, this. We have to come here and add this like a, this line again. So we, using this uh, patch hyphen package or can we can uh, solve that issue. I will tell you how to do it. Right now, we have installed this nbm i patch hyphen package. Let us uh, run this command now. We have this patch hyphen package available now. Now, npx space patch hyphen package. Here, we have to give it a package name. Our package name is, let us copy the package name. Let me copy this one. Enter. Let us wait. Let us wait. It is installing. React if you smooth pin code input at 1.0.9 with NBM. Wait. Look at here, we have successfully installed this uh, patch, patch file for this uh, React Native smooth pin code input. Look at here, we have one new directory patches. Here we have this React Native smooth pin code input plus 1.0.9 dot patch file. So whenever we delete this node modules and install again with the npm install, uh, all the packages inside this package.json file will be installed. But at that time, this uh, React Native smooth pin code input will be using the old uh, view prop text uh, importing from this React Native because this is added from us. So at that time, we have to do it manually. We have to come here and uh, add it again. But by using this patch underscore package, by and executing this nbx patch hyphen package, React 
give smooth pin code input uh, command uh, we have uh, sto uh, we have uh, created that patch file here so uh, after installing npm um, npm packages again in the future automatically this patch file will be uh, uh, executed and uh, make this corresponding change this uh, changes uh, removing this new proplex from this it uh, want it uh, import it from deprecated here into proplex we don't want to give a, um, we will manually change this file so uh, when we work as a team it, is, it will be easy and it will be very useful for your future uh, future works i hope this is uh, helpful for you thank you